All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today, man, I want to talk about NASA and their recent mission because they may have legitimately just saved Earth down the line. So on Optimus News, I had covered the NASA DART mission and how it had impacted the asteroid that it was intending to impact and everything and how we were going to have to wait weeks to ever get any sort of confirmation on whether or not it ever did anything. Well, we finally have that answer and I want to talk about it and kind of just discuss overall everything that is kind of happening around this mission, why it's important, how it could potentially save Earth down the road. So if you don't know what I'm talking about today, I'm going to be talking about NASA's DART mission, okay? Now, this was a mission where they were essentially taking a vending machine sized, like, spacecraft that they designed. They flew it into an asteroid going like 14,000 miles per hour or something like that, and they were basically seeing whether or not they could shift the orbit of an asteroid enough that it would be noticeable, right? And this would be used later on down the line in case like Earth is ever under the threat of like getting hit by an asteroid. The idea is that we'll be able to use this, we'll be able to launch something like this into the asteroid, smack it head on, and we'd be able to knock it off course enough to where it wouldn't impact Earth. Hypothetically, this would be able to save Earth from a pretty much catastrophic impact. I mean, even an asteroid of a size that you wouldn't think is large enough to do major damage would probably be enough to wipe life off of Earth, or at least destroy like a catastrophic amount of life on Earth. I mean, it is a scary thought, and I think it's something we've all kind of thought of at least once or twice. We've seen those articles where it's like, oh, you know, near-Earth asteroid is going to be this close to Earth, you know? Is it going to hit? Stuff like that. Well, hopefully that won't be as much of a worry anymore now that we have this mission kind of underway and we've seen the results that are honestly very very promising so a spacecraft that plowed into a small harmless asteroid millions of miles away succeeded in shifting its orbit nasa said tuesday in announcing the results of its save the world test the space agency attempted the test two weeks ago to see if in the future a killer rock could be nudged out of earth's way quote this mission shows that nasa is trying to be ready for whatever the universe throws at us nasa administrator Bill Nelson said during a briefing at the space agency's headquarters in Washington. The DART spacecraft carved a crater into the asteroid Dimorphos on September 26th, hurling debris out into space and creating a comet-like trail of dust and rubble stretching several thousand miles. It took consecutive nights of telescope observations from Chile and South Africa to determine how much the impact altered the path of the 525-foot asteroid around its companion, a much larger space rock. Before the impact, the moonlet took 11 hours and 55 minutes to circle its parent asteroid. Scientists had anticipated shaving off 10 minutes, but Nelson said the impact shortened the asteroid's orbit by 32 minutes. Quote, let's just all kind of take a moment to soak this in. For the first time ever, humanity has changed the orbit of a celestial body, noted Lori Glaze, NASA's Director of Planetary Science. This is coming from AP. So this is actually a major watershed moment in science for humanity, because not only is it the first time that we've altered the orbit of a celestial body out in space, but it's the first time we have successfully tested humanity's best defense against an asteroid collision. So obviously, I, I think, anyone can realize at this point that if an asteroid were to hit Earth, the, the consequences would be huge. I mean, you gotta think, it's a situation like this that completely wiped out the dinosaurs and led to a massive extinction of life on Earth. I mean, it didn't kill off everything, of course, but it killed off, I think, like, what? Like 70 to 90% of life on Earth or something crazy like that? I mean, if something like that were to happen today, you know, billions of people could die. And the goal with this DART mission is basically to see whether or not humanity has a viable defense against a situation like this, and as it turns out, it looks like we do. I just gotta say, before we go any further in the video, man, like, not only congratulations to NASA, but, like, massive props to NASA, because, I mean, the, the amount of, like, work and effort that went into doing something like this should not be understated. NASA has been so fundamental and so many major milestones for humanity at this point. I really feel like a lot of people don't regard NASA in the light that they should be regarded in. I mean, you gotta think, NASA, first people to put a man on the moon, right? You know, they've got the Mars rover that, you know, they were a big part of, like, I mean, there's the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, there's, of course, this NASA DART mission, there's the Artemis Project coming up where they're gonna build, like, a moon base, and then that's gonna be the propellant for, you know, humans to go to Mars one day. These guys, over over the years have done so much fundamental good for space 
space science and for science in general. I mean, it's definitely one of the most like publicly viewed science agencies in the country and realistically in the world, but you gotta think the amount of brain power and the amount of logistics and the amount of like skill that it took not only to build a spacecraft like this, but to launch it that far away, hit an asteroid in mid-orbit, knock it off course, and successfully see all this happen, like, the it's just fucking insane, dude. Like, I, I really want people to put some respect on NASA's name, because, like, the shit they do is actually fucking incredible, but... Planetary defense experts prefer nudging a threatening asteroid or comet out of the way, given years or even decades of lead time, rather than blowing it up and creating multiple pieces that could rain down on Earth. Quote, we really need to also have that warning time for a technique like this to also be effective, said mission leader uh, Nancy Chabot of John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory, which built the spacecraft and managed the $325 million mission. You've got to know they're coming, added Glaze. Launched last year, the vending machine sized DART, short for Double Asteroid Redirection Test, was destroyed when it slammed into the asteroid 7 million miles away at 14,000 miles per hour. Quote, this is a huge feat, not only in achieving the first step in possibly being able to protect ourselves from future asteroid impacts, but also for the amount of images and data collected internationally, Daniel Brown, an astronomer at Nottingham Trent University in England, said via email. Brown also said that it's, quote, particularly exciting that the debris trail can be seen by amateur sky gazers with medium-sized telescopes. Team scientists caution more work is needed to not only identify more of the countless space rocks out there, but to ascertain their makeup. Some are solid, while others are rubble piles. Scouting missions might be needed, for instance, before launching impactors to deflect the orbits. Quote, we should not be too eager to say one test on one asteroid tells us exactly how every other asteroid would behave in a similar situation, Statler said. Nonetheless, he and others are rejoicing over this first effort. Quote, we've been imagining this for years, and to have it finally be real is quite a thrill, he said. So this could be a legitimate planetary defense for all of humanity in case of an asteroid impact. If you don't know, NASA and other space agencies around the planet are constantly tracking, probably thousands at this point, different asteroids, near-Earth space objects, different things, you know, just kind of seeing what's out there to potentially, you know, pose a threat to us in the future, right? It's even gotten to the point that for some asteroids, like, they've mathematically marked out, like, thousands of years of its orbit to see, like, when it could potentially hit Earth, right? Like, they, they've they been doing their work, right? Well, with that kind of lead time, as they call it, or that I'd call it a heads up, really, uh, they could potentially launch something like this again and knock this kind of thing off course so that it would never pose a future threat to humanity ever again. Again. Like it said earlier, you know, they were looking for like a 10 minute effect on the orbit of this thing and they pretty much tripled that. Like that's pretty goddamn impressive, man. So not only was this mission a success objectively, but it also was such a success that it multiplied the effect of what they expected multiple times over. I mean, they actually fucking killed it with this mission. They, they did what they were supposed to do and more. I don't know, man, like, I, I've, I've always been, like, a big hype man for NASA, you know, like, I've always kind of, like, looked up to NASA and, and been really inspired by the things that they do, but, like, seeing news like this really makes me proud of humanity, man, like, we've really come such a far way, you gotta think, 500 years ago, people were shitting in open trenches in the streets and thought that the Earth was the center of the universe, and then now, you know, we're out here deflecting asteroids millions of miles away to see if we could ever deflect one in an actual scenario that would, you know, potentially impact humanity. You know, I feel like in the news all the time, you see such negative things, you know, you'll get all these things that have just negative press, right? But, you know, things like this, I don't think get enough press. Like this should be, you know, on the front page of every newspaper, it should be like the breaking news for every news outlet. It's phenomenal news, man. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub the Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus, well, really proud of NASA, man, and signing out.